I want to say town square. Oh, very good. There is a place where the a council members meet, and it has a wide variety of of the inhabitants there. Just down the hall. Oh, good. Take your time and. I had like I was just pointing this way. It's just down the hall. Oh, good. I feel like I'm in a big cathedral-like building. Beautiful. My uh, well, old big white pillars. You'll be very welcome there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is it through this door? Excellent. It's like a stained glass door window, you know? Yeah, brown door. And Beautiful. I open it up. And as you go through, where is the council? And I'm sitting at a lawn table in front of me. Excellent. From here to here. Excellent. How many does it look like are on this council? Seven, eight, nine. Are there two seats? Huh. I'm sorry, for you and Hank? Or must you stand? I can sit. Will you two go ahead and take a seat? Is there someone there? Let's, okay, I'm sorry. Let the council make their presentation and someone will be the leader. What do they look like? Trying to see them, but uh, individually, they're not a blank. Individually, each one will give you a figure in your mind's eye. Don't try too hard. Just relax into it. You'll see them. And if they're going fast, it'll slow down so you can get a good look. What type of images flash through your face, through your head, through your uh, mind's eye? And you hug. G-R-O-G. So will you address Grog? Grog. Just tell Grog, thank you for seeing me and hang you. It's our pleasure. We just had a desire to visit and you're in an out-of-body uh by locating. They have something to tell you. What is their message? Face it just kind of touch my face. Of course. Thank you. What's your message for me? Yeah, 
Jedi Council that time. We have brought you here. Experience what it's like. I get in the fifth dimension. Just say thank you. Thank you. Continue to listen. We want to help you on your journey. And raise your vibration. Sweet ours. Excellent. And how will they do that? Telepathically. And I'd like you to receive their high vibration. And as you receive it, you'll feel yourself becoming more acclimated and more centered and more relaxed and more comfortable. How does it feel? Relaxing. And you should start to be able to see the nine very, very easily. I thought I see them earlier. I get flashes of different beans and some one looked like an old Celtic guy one had big black eyes but a, a thin arrow head and one Looks like Hank. <laughs> what does yeah. the, the one that looks like Hank, what does he look like? That's the one that brought me down here. Is, uh, he, is he on this council? Yes. And who's look. next? Okay. Um, There's an Arcturian. That's what I get. What is the Arcturian image? What does that one look like? Not sure. Oh. I just I just felt that. And I got that name. Okay. The one that looked uh, like Hank, what does it look like? What does what does his hair look like? Mostly bald. Uh, I thought for a minute. Yeah, a little bit of hair on there. And but you're really skinny. And um looking look smart. Uh, I thought for a moment you had glasses on, maybe gold rim glasses, uh, maybe just for effect. Okay. And um, well, just with that, with that anyway. thought in mind, with that thought in mind, since you're just focused on me. 
I want to, I, I've been writing down what you've been saying. So first, what is Hank's message? Just receive it. Whatever goes through your head. Hank's message. And a message for the collective on the surface. Know that you are not alone in this spiritual journey. Hank is with you. Listen to his instruction. Obey his commands. Let go of your fear. already huh yes I feel more relaxed now and then what about the Celtic <laughs> the Celtic yeah I had a beard and uh, like a red beard and kind of looked over like this at me and uh, you know it's a human form and, well, he uh, has a message too receive his message hey Mr. Celtic Hagar. Hagar is his name, apparently. What is the message for me? You sure he wasn't saying like Hagar, like Hey Gary? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. It could be. Okay. Well, I want you to ask him is that his name or is that how he addresses you? Is that you? your name or is that how you address me? That's my name, laddie. Okay, very good. Hagar. And what is his message for you? Oh wow, I just seen another one that looked like a cone head. Anyway. Okay, that's uh, good. What we'll is your keep, message? We'll uh, keep that one in mind. The cone head will be next. And what does Hagar have for you? Be a fierce. Stand tall. Don't be afraid. This ain't nothing for you, buddy. You'll be here, seeing clear, before you know it. Very good. Just listen. We're here to support you. Tell him thank you. Thank you. What else does he to say? You have a good heart. Use it. Let it guide you. I <laughs> in love. Thank you for that. Very good. Very, very good. And, and now focus on the cone head. What is the cone head? What is the. the Marion. Marion, that's his name. Is that a her, Marion? Or that's a male name? I think it's a her. Okay. Uh. Marion, what is your message for me? Okay. Thanks for showing up today. Oh, good. You're on the council, really.
quite excited. <sighs> Too heavy, man. Beautiful. Relax. Yes, laugh. It's it helps you. Good, good. Yes, it's very nice. Any other message for you from her? Continue on your journey, Gary. Don't let fear stand in your way. Huh? Yes, thank you for the hug. Um, excellent. Now let's speak to the one with the uh, the bulbous head and the big eyes and the narrow chin. They have a message for you as well. Re receive that message. Okay. What is your message for me? First, what is your name? Iona? I own a very good. Candy bar. Very good. I own a candy bar. Pleased to meet you, Iona Candabar, because, you know, that's a little formal, so I need you to be a little formal with them as well. I was thinking Candabar was a place. Oh, I I Iona of Candabar? Yes. I want you to ask, remember what I said. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, I'm sorry. Where are you from, Candabar? Oh. Uh, Where's that at? Plenty of counts. Oh, very good. And ask her what is her message? Or, or is, I think it's a female. Yeah, what is her message? Please. Please. Your enlightenment. On this journey, we'll continue. Our class is meeting. You will. Help others in their journey. Help them reach where they need to go. <laughs> you will. Guide them and <laughs> well, Help them no longer be fearful and you will light their way. Huh. Very good, you'll light you'll light their way, huh? <laughs> Ask uh, Iona, will you do that by this work that you're doing with Hank? Yes, indeed. And ask her, is this what she means by, because we post these? Your posting reaches many. A remarkable fact. Oh, very good. And you will be doing so in other ways as well, does she mean? <sighs> I'd like you.
you to thank Iona, unless she's still speaking. Was she still speaking? See you next time. Uh, tell her thank you. Very thank good. You. Now I'd like you to focus on the Arcturian. I think now they'll come forward nice and easy for you to see. And I know they have a message. Sometimes they don't have a name. We'll just ask what is their uh, what's their message if they have a message, please. For what is your message if you have a message, please. Welcome. This meeting of the council. Your development. So it was meant for you and Hank to come together like this? And you can Yes. And the work that we're doing that we've just begun, just like the work that Lars and I do together, the same. Your work is very important. Is he address he's addressing you or addressing our work, you and our work, you and me together or both of you. Including Lars. Very good. Is Lars on this council? Very good. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Just thank him. And uh, that was five of those council members. There should be four more. Could you yes. ask for the very next one to step forward? And we'd like to just get a brief message from each one, and then we will end this session. Uh, okay. Very good. And who comes forward next then, please? With much love and gratitude from us to, to all of them.
hear the words Chancellor and I heard the word Venus. Very good. Is this the Chancellor of Venus? Please? Yes. Your Excellency, what message do you have for the Collective today, please? Proceed with your plan to help others. Don't be dissuaded by your governments trying to brainwash you with political rhetoric. the light being that you are. Collectively, we shall all positively affect the shift. Excellent. Will that be all for now then, Your Grace? Yes, that is all. Very good, and thank you. And we will continue to the best of our abilities. And we're you're ready to receive the next, please? Message have you for us, Agatha? We're so grateful and happy that you're here. Just watching your progress. What Making message? Sure that uh, that carries getting things done here. It's nice to see you uh, getting higher in vibration. And reaching out to the council. Oh, very good. What vibration is this council in right now? Just out of curiosity. Eleven. Oh, very good. So this is awesome for Gary then, huh? Yes, way past his expectations. Very good. Excellent, excellent. What message do you have for Gary? We know you're uh, looking out for him, but you know, for the collective. Sure, I'm partial to him, but you know. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> you know, like my little pet project. <laughs> uh, well, we're happy. We're so happy that. Uh, he has friends in high, <laughs> he has friends in high places. <laughs> yes. Just continue what you're doing, Gary. That's really my message today for you. Oh, very good. And uh, yes, your dad sends his love. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. And. Do you like do you like the word he chose flowers? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> now, now uh, just Agatha, while we have you here, uh, is there a difference between Agatha and Agnes? Agnes is my sister. Oh, okay, okay. And are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I just got that. So, are both of you uh, Gary's guides or twin you, flames? Oh, you and Gary are twin flames. I think her and Agatha. Oh, okay. You and Agatha are twin flames. And what is your association with Gary, though? Besides a pet project. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What'd she say? Just to... yeah, how do you want to drink? So are you guys? So, I mean, we are. I know we're just putting labels, but yeah. Okay. Good. So they probably have known Hank for a long time if he's on this council, huh? Yes. Awesome. Thank you uh, very much for coming through. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So shall we go to the eighth person? We then we have one more. Thanks, Agatha. We'll talk to you soon. Again, of course. And who comes forward now? Tara. Oh, uh, repeat their name again. Tara. Hello, Tara. How are you? Um, I am well. Very good. And what is your message for? for the collective and for Gary today, please. Mostly Gary. He was trusting himself. That he will do. The things that he plans on doing. Use that big heart of his. He will not steer him wrong. Excellent. Hank is a big influence for you. Embrace his knowledge. He is wiser than Thank you, Tyron. You're quite welcome. We love you. Yes. Very good. And can the very last council member please come forward? Yes, last council. And not least at all. Most definitely not least. Getting the word Glaslow. Glaslow. Welcome, Glaslow, and thank you very much for meeting Peace us. Peace and love. Peace and love to you. And what message do you have for Gary for his growth and development and maybe for the collective as well?
What's your message? Please. That's all. You gotta be say please. <laughs> please, I'm sorry. Okay. Where's your manager, man? <laughs> they told you to listen to me. <laughs> it's in the pocket. <laughs> Very good. What does Glazlow say? Very good. Excellent. Continue. I'm sorry. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Pleiadian High Council of Nine, we are so blessed and honored to be in your presence. Yes. We thank you Absolutely. for coming forward and speaking to Gary, each and every one of, one of you individually. Wow. I am in awe of all of you guys, just to let you know. <laughs> They're all laughing at me, but still, it's funny. <laughs> We are so grateful for coming forward. Um, oh, yes. Thank you. Oh. And uh, just for uh, Gary is protected um, by this council, is he not? Yes. And the work that he does? Absolutely. And we would ask in this moment now if we could also uh, send some unconditional love to Lars and, and help him heal in an ex in a very as quickly as possible. We, we shall, shall do that. Thank you very much. Um, he's been down, and uh, thank you. Well, I don't... Gary... Wow. Has... I'm sorry. That was a big flash. What happened? I just felt a big wave of energy from them. Good. <laughs> wow. It's like orange. Uh, wow. It was just overwhelming. That's why I'm moving. Oh, very good. Wow. And Powerful. You're... I want you to look to the side, and Hank is going to turn back into the eagle again. Ah! Oh, very good. And you're going to take the form of an eagle as well. And you're now traveling. You're now traveling. One circle around the council and thank them. They understand. And you're moving through the green portal. Up, up and away! And you're shooting out of the portal. Back into the air. And uh, once again, start, you're soaring. Start. Yes. Soaring over the trees. Over the flowers, over the valley. Then uh, you're coming back down to the path. And if you look ahead of you, you can see the owl and the deer. Uh huh. Uh huh. They're there. They're waiting. Okay. Right. And right. you land down. Let's land down. 
And as you land, you take human form again. Okay. And actually, so does Hank. Hey, Hank. Hey, you. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want you to, to address the owl. Mr. Owl. Say, Mr. Owl, who are you? Who are you? He'll tell you. Agnes and Al form? Ah, very good. Just tell Agnes that we just met her sister Agatha. And, uh... Yeah, we just met your sister, Agatha. Oh, perfect. And then also there's the, the big uh, doe, the big elk. Ask Mr. Elk, the, who was he? The elk? There yes. was some elk? I thought there was a deer. Deer, elk, you said he had big horns. Oh, it was a deer with big horns, but I could see an elk deer once you said that. Oh, well, that's okay. Just talk uh, to the, the deer with the big horns first. Deer with the big horns, are you? Huh? I thought I heard the name Daniel, but... Okay, and uh, Daniel, who... Sure. And who was Daniel, uh, how was Daniel connected to you? Brother? Uh, I just, that's what I heard. I heard Daniel and then I heard brother. Okay. Maybe not this lifetime, but. That's okay. There oh, was another. Nice. Animal. There was another animal there. Hey, there was that blue bird. That first bluebird. Ah, the bluebird. Yeah, the blue jay. And I blue want jay. To have that bluebird. Tell it to come on forward. Hey, blue jay. And it will land on a little tree, a little bush. Uh-huh. And just ask okay, him, bush. who is that? Who is the bluebird? He'll tell you. Who is the bluebird? They'll tell you. Ooh. Who? Enog. Enog. Yeah, weird thing, but okay. Where are you from? Oh, there you go. Good. Space? Ask the bluebird to show you it's real full. Oh, it's a bluebird. Think about it. Is it an avian? Are you in the It's okay. Haha, <laughs> he's having us from space. So, I could see the space. And look at where I saw. There's a star from the left of. Cassiopeia. Ah, very good. And ask him what is he doing there? Or what is it what is it doing there? What are you doing here? Making my head out of the sky here. What are you doing here? I came to teach. Perfect. And are you connected with them in any way? Former teacher. English. Huh. Oh, okay. Mrs. Roosevelt. Oh, wow. I haven't seen her in a long time. Huh. Oh, that's one of your teachers. Yeah, my real life teachers. Um, from, uh, Junior high? Uh, seventh, seventh or eighth grade. Junior high school. Yeah. Well, tell her wonderful to see her. Yeah, I'm glad. So, so I can see her now. I can see her. Really happy you and decided to ask. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where she was from, but uh, she was one of my favorites. Oh, good, Very good, good. Fun. You notice how you're surrounded by these people who you really that were influenced that you that you know. And I think I was her favorite too. One of her favorites because uh, it gave me a really good grasp of English, and I think she's kind of trying to talk through me in a sense. Um, 
Yes, continue using your grammar gear. <laughs> okay, I, I shall. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You know, oh, how wonderful. But tell, yeah, tell her oh. how good it is to, to be here with her. Yes. Wow, oh, it's been so long. Gosh. Has she and passed on the Earth plane? Has she passed on to where? Has she passed on, period. Yeah, yeah. Years and years and years ago. Okay. Yeah, that's what makes it so surprising for me. So ask her, is, wow. is she there because you? she knew you were coming? Are you there because I knew I was coming? Yeah. And Hank knew, didn't he? That's why he called you down. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was just funny. <laughs> See, I know I'm not crazy. I knew that when we were coming back, we were going to talk to every last one of them. I said, there's someone. They mean something. I knew it. Oh, very good. I'm happy I was going with my instinct. That's good, good, good. And ask her, does she know who Grog is? Yes, do you know Grog? Who is he? Well, yeah. I don't know what's going on. I can't Or does any of them know who Grog is? Or was? I think she said that. No? Hold on, let me ask her. Okay, I'm sorry. It's Grog. All I got was from the High Council, that's... Okay. How I'm like, how'd you know? I wonder what she's been doing all this time. Flying around, huh? Uh, well, Always wanted to be a bird, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, excellent. And in her form, she can be anything she desires, huh? Yeah. Oh, tiger. Oh, nice. There's a tiger uh -huh. there? Well, I think she transformed into a tiger, so she showed me she could do different... Oh, animals, okay. The bird is my favorite. Beautiful. Yeah. It's peaceful. You know, you could fly around and go to the different trees and just uh, enjoy nature. So inner earth is yeah. pretty beautiful, huh? Yes. Very beautiful. 